afternoon. No, usually after lunch, the energy is very less, right? So I'm going to check your energy. I'll say one, two, three. You should say who. Okay. One, two, three, go. Who. One more time. One, two, three, go. Who. Super. So here I'm today to share my journey. Um, I was basically from uh, uh, Karnataka only, Shimoga. So there are more than, uh, you know, 16 members are visually impaired in my family because it's an hereditary. So those days, uh, I was born in uh, 1986. Uh, at that time, you know, uh, from uh, my, uh, my, 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 from my family, there are very less people. They have gone to school and uh, they have not, uh, there is no uh, proper education for them. So that's why they are not able to go to, you know, a hospital and get checkup. Because of this hereditary, there are a lot of, lot of people has suffered uh, from the blindness uh, in, in, in my family. And uh, of course, uh, uh, my father is a normal person. He has come from the different family and got, to, got married to my mother. And this hereditary is from, you know, uh, from my mother's side. So I was a uh, totally blind for about eight years. I thought world is blind. So everybody are like me. Sometimes, you know, in my village, uh, the uh, uh, crows, birds used to make noise, right? So I think, I thought that why I'm not able to do that like that? And there are dogs, they used to do bow bow. So I also think that why I'm not able to do like that? And whenever I touch the dog, and the dog body shape is different, and my body shape is different. So I was in a totally confusion. And, uh, you know, sometimes in, in, the, in our life, we say, no, if something happens bad, that will be good in, for, the, for the future. So the same thing happened in my life. When I was, you know, crossing the river, I, I fell down in a river, like it will be like a, a 20, 25 uh, feet down. So uh, my mother and my father took me to the home. And that time, they even, they doesn't have money to go to hospital. So uh, unfortunately, uh, they have put some coffee powder and uh, you know turmeric powder on my on my uh, right eye and uh, they are trying to stop you know uh, the heavy bleeding so god grace i can say the very next day only uh, there are from uh, some doctors came to my village uh, for a uh, general eye camp usually they used to do in the in the villages right so one doctor has come and asked my mother that uh, why he is not able to see then my mother said no sir he is not able to see so then uh, he said that, okay, you come to Bangalore, we'll have an operation. So uh, then uh, uh, within uh, two, three days, we came to Bangalore. And my mother also, she also a totally blind person. So we all came to Bangalore. And finally, we got an eye operation. And uh, now I'm able to do, I'm able to see like uh, three to four meters. I mean, 30, 35% I'm able to see now. So this is the God grace, I can say. In the life, sometimes uh, becomes, you know, bad. You don't think that, oh, this is a very big, uh, you know, uh, a, a very big loss for me or very big, uh, I mean, bad thing for me. So it will, sometimes it will be good in the future also. So as like everybody is good at something, right? So um, when I got my vision back, I was so, so surprised. And uh, unfortunately, within, within, my, within three months, my father passed away. And as I said, my mother also totally blind. She is not able to, you know, go to a uh, field and work. So that time she was suffering, you know, for the, uh, suffering from the um, uh, bad health and uh, very bad food condition. So somebody told that my mother uh, that there is a blind school, so she, uh, you can just admit there. So he will get a food and accommodation uniform, everything by free of cost. So my mother, she has put me in a hostel. You know why? Because I'll get food accommodation and uniform, clothing. So for that reason, she joined me in a blind school, not to become IAS officer or, uh, or something, something, uh, uh, something uh, big officer. So this is the thing, she joined me in a school and uh, when I joined school, I started, my, I started uh, playing cricket and uh, in the next uh, summer occasions, I came to uh, my, I mean, uh, my village and told my mother that, Mama, I have started playing cricket. Then she said that, Beta, you have to become something, achieve something. She always used to tell me that when I was a totally blind, uh, my neighborhood, uh, uh, they, you know, uh, students, uh, uh, friends, they, they, they don't allow me to play because they are able to see, I'm not able to see. 
so they are able to play all the games i am not able to do anything with them so my mama she always get hurt uh, because of this and she always used to motivate me that aap himmat nahi harna you should become something you should achieve something this disability what you have now you have to convert into your ability so like that she used to motivate me always and finally yeah i said um, i st- i told my mother that i have started playing cricket so th- then she said like that and uh, i started uh, you know uh, my cricketing career for my school team uh, for for shimoga team then slowly i have selected for karnataka team and uh, from karnataka team uh, there will be a south zone tournament in belgaum so in that uh, there, there are four teams have taken will taken uh, 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 i mean south zone pl- will play only four teams uh, that is andhra tamil nadu kerala and karnataka now pandicherry and uh, telangana two states has been added so it was, this was a final match india versus i mean karnataka versus kerala so in that match i have scored 248 runs in one day match so that helped me to get a you know place in indian team so there was a uh, uh, world cup uh, in 2002 so uh, it, it got helped me and uh, i start i uh, started my debut match so 2002 we played but still you know uh, we have not entered a, se- uh, a semi final also because you know there are lot of lack of communication in the team i know only kannada i am a kannada medium student so whatever i am english i am talking to you today because of the radio commentary so like that so there are lot of different players from uh, uh, throughout the country right so there will be players from haryana gujarat punjab and maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu there are lot of players so i know only kannada language uh, if i wanted to share i wanted to express myself so what is the main thing i wanted to learn languages uh, so that i can you know import export all my ideas to other other my teammates right so we have not won and 2006 world cup we reached finals but lost against lost the final match against pakistan so that time only i decided that i wanted to learn languages i wanted to become a captain of indian team and i have to bring lot of you know trophies for india so finally by 2010 i become a captain of indian national blind cricket team and so so proud that from 2002 to 2010 i learned eight languages you know why see i wanted to share my thoughts to other other state players i wanted to learn languages right so i wanted to uh, uh, tell about myself and i wanted to know about him uh, about uh, him uh, uh, i mean his family so all done and finally i become a captain of indian blind cricket team 2002 uh, so 2010 we went to england you know how we came with the white wash 6 0 so that was the first tournament we have won under my captainship and 2012 we had a <clears throat> we had a t20 world cup so t20 world cup that is the first ever t20 world cup there are nine countries have taken part and of course uh, uh, as you all know india versus pakistan will be high voltage match always right <clears throat> so uh, in this uh, means uh, league for league matches uh, we lost against pakistan but uh, on that day there are a lot of you know my friends the called me and scold, started scolding me are yaar kya yaar aap log to league mein haar gaye final bhi haar gaye to aapko bahut bura lag humko bahut bura lagega the like that they used to tell so then finally uh, the final match india versus pakistan and uh, we won the world cup and uh, you know brought a very very big cup for our india so before this our coach patrick rajkumar sir he used to tell me always that shekar if you become a first then only people will remember so if you become a second and th- second or third people will remember for how many days not longer right so you have to win the world cup uh, like that he used to motivate us and so finally and he used to tell me that if you won this world cup and after after you know thousands of thousands of year ago if you ask anyone who was the winner of first ever t20 world cup win- winner which country then what is the answer my mother country india right so proudly we can say my mother country india we have won the first ever t20 world cup so like that used to motivate us <coughs> and uh, 2014 uh, we had a one day world cup it was in south africa cape town it was a amazing match again same arch rivals pakistan versus india will be the final match 
and you know i won the toss and i told them to bat you know how much they scored can you guess how much they scored they scored 389 runs oh my god it's a huge huge big score right so our uh, our coach said said our our coach said that why you have come to in uh, you know for the finals so you should not scared you just why you have come here just go there and play do go go there and do your duty so let's then uh, automatically what let's see what what will happen and uh, we gone there we played and finally we chased 380 uh, eight runs and remaining two balls so that was the very very proud moment so uh, india inclu i i my sincere thanks to india inclusion summit and uh, uh, firoz sir so that's it thank you so much